Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hopefully resolve the application error code 0xc0000906 that you are experiencing on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. And it says that the application was unable to start correctly. And then in parentheses, it says 0xc0000906. Click OK to close the application. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So a couple different things. You may want to try reinstalling the software. So if you had a bad installer or a corrupt one, perhaps, you want to go ahead and re-download it and then attempt to run it with administrative permissions. Right-click on it and then run as administrator. And then see if that resolves the problem. If you have a third-party antivirus that might be blocking the file, you might want to consider setting an exclusion for it within your antivirus product, whichever software solution it may be. And then something else we can try as well would be to open up the search menu and type in CMD. Best match should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right-click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, go ahead and select Yes. And now I will have two commands in the description of my video, guys. First one is the System File Checker Utility Scan. So go ahead and copy that, and then go up the top bar of the Command Prompt window here. Right-click on it, select Edit, and then paste it in. Hit Enter to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. Okay, so once that one is done, go ahead and copy the second command I'm going to have in the description of my video. So go ahead and copy that, and then go up the top bar of the command prompt window once again. Right-click on it, select Edit, and then paste it in. Hit Enter to begin the system scan. This will take a couple minutes to run as well, so please be patient. Okay, so once that's done, go ahead and close out of here and then restart your computer. There you go, guys. Hopefully that was able to resolve your problem. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.